Captain Marvel is the latest Marvel film, and it's the 21st film in the MCU. I've been excited for this one for a really long time, and Infinity War couldn't have made me any more excited after that post credit scene. And with Endgame right around the corner, this film had a lot going for it. And it does live up to the hype around it, as Brie Larson does give a good performance. Her performance isn't great in the first 20-30 to 30 minutes, there's not really much emotion shown in her face, but it gets a lot better as the film goes on. And the rest of the cast is fantastic. Samuel L. Jackson is always a treat as Nick Fury, and Ben Mendelsohn, who I've always been a huge fan of, plays the villain as excellently as he always does. And Lashana Lynch has two astonishing scenes, and is likeable throughout the rest of the film. Also, Goose the Cat. He was the best, and there's not really much more I need to say. He was just so good, you just need to experience Goose the Cat. He was the best. The film's plot and how it unfolds was really well done, and often films where a character can't remember their past very well can become quite messy in terms of their structure, but the script really manages to hold it together, and because of this, it's able to pull off some excellent twists that really surprised me and really worked for the film. I didn't see the twist coming, and I thought they were brilliantly executed and done and played out in the aftermath of that twist. And the visual effects are gorgeous to look at. The opening shot is stunning, and Captain Marvel's powers are always beautifully rendered. And the rest of the CGI is absolutely flawless and beautiful throughout, except for one brief shot of Jude Law taking off a mask. I'm going to mention this as a separate point from the visual effects, because it's just so mind-blowing to me that this is the point we have got to. The de-aging work done to Samuel L. Jackson is truly pushing the boundaries of cinema as we know it. The second he appears on screen for the first time, you forget that's not what Samuel L. Jackson actually looks like, and you never think about that for the rest of the film, apart from the first two or three seconds that you see him. It looks and feels like a real actor, and he has a cut above his eyebrow for almost the whole film, and it looks like top-notch makeup, and I'm aware that is CGI, but it is so real, and the depth of the cut, the way the blood is spread around to the top of his head, it's just so realistic. It looks more like makeup rather than CGI. That's how revolutionary this de-aging stuff is to cinema, and revolutionary is truly the only word to describe the de-aging work done here. Absolutely phenomenal job. I can't imagine they even did this as part of the VFX team. They probably had a whole other department just to work on Samuel L. Jackson for this film. It is that incredible. However, I was quite able to predict how a scene would end a lot of the time. For example, when a scroll was secretly posing as someone else and then reveals himself to be a scroll at the end of the scene, I got that quite a few of the times that happens. Or when someone was going to make a joke about a certain thing that happens early on, earlier on in the scene, and other things like that. I was still not able to predict the big things, but those small things, whenever those scenes came up, was a bit annoying when I did predict those. And my only big issue with the film is that it takes a while to really get going, and only when it's partway through the second act does it really find its stride. And once it gets there, it's fantastic, and it just keeps on getting better once it reaches that point. And it just changes tones a lot. Before that, every five or ten minutes, from 90s nostalgia to body cop movie and so on, it just gets really annoying how it can't settle on a tone. I'm going to give Captain Marvel a 9 out of 10. If you don't stay for both of the post credit scenes, you're being quite stupid to be honest. The first is absolutely pivotal to Endgame, and the second is very, very funny. That was my review of Captain Marvel guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye!